important progress uh, has has been made um, uh, in the last um, in the last years towards the implementation of um, Agenda 2030 um, in terms of improving access to healthcare for for millions. Still, uh, half of the uh, half of the world population still has no access to essential uh, health services. Um, also, uh, fights against uh, HIV, tuberculosis, uh, malaria are not advancing uh, as, as rapidly um, as, as they could. Uh, and therefore, I'm, I'm convinced that uh, new technologies uh, have, uh, have an important uh, role to play in this regard. Two things we have seen now with the, uh, with, with the pandemic, uh, and which I think are, are, are interesting uh, lessons uh, in this respect, is that um, firstly, um, digital health solutions um, and e-health platforms in particular, not only in developing countries, but also, for instance, in my country, as in many other places, have really helped uh, in uh, making uh, health uh, systems, uh, systems uh, much more um, much more resilient and generally in hoping with in coping with the uh, with the uh, outbreak of the of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. We have um, as a country um, over the last years um, increasingly uh, invested in, uh, in innovation and uh, technologies um, as they provide a unique opportunity to um, accelerate and catalyze uh, access to, to health care, be that in uh, diagnostic, uh, HIV testing, uh, treatments, um, etc., and that um, in particular uh, in Africa. My vision in this regard is to, is to um, assist our Luxembourgish and local partners um, also to leverage uh, digital technologies in order to address the sanitary but also socio-economic fallout of, of this crisis. So, I'm, I'm convinced that uh, this crisis uh, can also be an, an, an accelerator uh, to get to get out of this and to uh, to build back better, uh, if you if, if you like. I must say uh, that the uh, the uh, the Health Innovation Exchange is a is a unique, uh, very important um, platform. Of exchange, and I would really like to congratulate uh, UNAIDS uh, on this uh, great initiative. Uh, it does bring together many different stakeholders with very specific expertise, um, all with the aim to deliver new life-saving and efficient innovation tools to, to fight HIV uh, AIDS, uh, amongst others. I think that these exchanges with multiple partners and actors definitely foster a collect collective vision uh, towards the achievement of um, SDG3 uh, through strong commitment to innovation uh, and also to the leave no one behind um, core, uh, core principle. This, um, this uh, innovation exhibition uh, space is not just about showcasing, uh, sh showcasing uh, innovation per se and presenting the benefits of, of new technologies and mechanisms. Um, I've been able to talk about this uh, with um, Dr. Tedros last week, um, and we agreed that it is also about uh, mobilizing a political commitment at national and local levels to bring those uh, innovations to scale, and finally, and most importantly, uh, to the people. The, the main idea behind the technology, and I think that's really quite crucial, is not only to be accessible to all, but also to be sustainable and um, as far as possible to be owned by the country itself. As, as a government, we are um, uh, investing uh, yearly 1% uh, of, our, of our GNI uh, in development co cooperation to uh, implement the SDGs. Um, and part of this is our support to uh, financial inclusion and microfinance activities. This is quite an essential part uh, of our uh, development uh, cooperation uh, policy. Because of our um, proactive approach to microfinance, which has a tradition of some two to three decades here in Luxembourg, and now financial inclusion 
um, Luxembourg has become to has grown to become a quite uh, important center of uh, excellence for inclusive and um, and sustain sustainable uh, finance. We um, aim at uh, facilitating uh, the access poorer people have to financial services which are relevant to their needs. Quite clearly, and of course you know that, uh, there is no sustainable uh, development uh, impact without the promotion uh, of social, social well-being. Um, we also believe that uh, grant-based aid on its own uh, is not sufficient to rebuild systems for health and to prevent uh, future pandemics. This is where the private sector plays an important uh, part by finding ways to attract new pools of funding, by sharing technical expertise, and also by responding to demand for a positive social impact and eco ecological uh, accountability. Um, therefore, um, it is essential uh, to promote a closer cooperation between public, uh, private and uh, civil society actors in the inclusive finance sector and beyond, uh, creating an ecosystem that fosters uh, innovation. By committing to sustainable finance, the uh, inclusive finance sector can also have an important multiplier effect and technology continues uh, to provide great opportunities uh, for, uh, for financial inclusion. And I, I would like to finish with another concrete example, um, which is also um, pertaining to, to, finance, to inclusive finance. In the past couple of years, um, the uh, Luxembourg Development Corporation has fostered a new innovative partnership with Bamboo Capital Partners, which is a Luxembourg-based fund manager. And together, we are supporting the SDG 500, which is a groundbreaking uh, impact, impact investment platform dedicated to financing the SDGs. The platform's objective is to raise US is, is to raise 500 million dollars for six funds to invest in hundreds of uh, businesses in emerging and um, frontier uh, markets. So this is one of one of the, one of a number of initiatives uh, we have been uh, pushing as um, Luxembourg Development Corporation uh, in the field of uh, inclusive uh, finance. Over the past uh, weeks and months, we, we have been working with uh, European colleagues and um, development agencies in uh, what will soon be known as the D4D uh, uh, hub. We have been working together with them on uh, leveraging existing digital solutions for an effective uh, health response and uh, socioeconomic uh, resilience. There are uh, a number of very diverse uh, opportunities here. So firstly, uh, more integrated um, health data systems for better planning and uh, coordinated response. It is also um, the opportunity to do information platforms to inform citizens and improve uh, prevention, big data, thirdly, to, in, uh, to understand mobility patterns and enhance uh, predictions, 3D printing uh, for spare parts of, for instance, respirators, and finally, uh, e-health e uh, services for remote uh, care solutions, even in, uh, in, rural, in rural areas. Um, also, one other example I, I would like to mention is that um, in, in partnership with SES, our uh, satellite operator, uh, Luxembourg is currently providing free access to its uh, SatMet uh, platform uh, that includes uh, amongst, its, amongst its open services, support to diagnosis and uh, therapeutic, therapeutic decision, uh, decisions, but also capacity building. However, uh, and this is crucial, the, uh, the necessary e-skills are vital, as they are the only way to properly implement and scale up uh, innovative uh, solutions. You can mention e-learning for, uh, for um, continuity of and long distance uh, education. You can also mention training, reskilling, uh, upskilling, digital economy support and connectivity for economic resilience, um, digital finance for, to, to foster uh, financial inclusion, and finally, um, e commerce 
which has been thriving also again during the COVID uh, period and last mile uh, delivery services for food security and uh, economic uh, resilience.